G'day everyone, welcome to the Opal Mills. Today, we're gonna to be slicing. So it's probably this whole video so far is gonna be just slicing up, processing this parcel into cuttable slabs to mark stones out of. Just neaten them up a bit, making them ready to be cut. Gorgeous. And that piece there, that's gorgeous. Oh, you can only see this in person. <laughs> anyway, we'll um, get onto the saw and start selling some slicing. So, this saw is new to me, and we're going to uh, run it in and see how it performs. <laughs> Got the saw running. Um, that's what it looks like. Now that's what it looks like underneath. We haven't treated um, past the surface. So these are all going for another a treat. They get a bit weaker and weaker as they go down. There is a bit of red there treatment will hopefully bring out. So there we go. So we're just gonna go through and continue slicing. Alright, here's all the decisions made for me. Nice slices. It's not much to look at as it's... Oh, then, saying that. Check that out. Put all those slices in there. Hopefully these take a good treatment. Um, this was that nice stuff. It treated really well from the side. So now we're going to have full faces of it. Beautiful. A couple of bits got me concerned as soon as I sliced it. So I stopped. Um, I'll see what it treats like. Um, but if it continues the way it's already done, it doesn't look much shot. Uh, where's the other half? 
Yeah, it is. There is that one. And all this stuff on the inside. It's obviously these running through. Whether that's going to help it break up along those lines. Whether this even treats back up to colour again, I'm not sure. Unfamiliar, ter unfamiliar territory. So we'll just chuck them in for a treat as is, see what they do, how they respond. That's going to be a really nice face on that. Check that out. It's a whole bar of it. Here's the rest of that one. Staying up in there. Find its direction. So these slices are from yeah, this stuff. That's going to be a really nice pattern in there if that treats up nicely. So the aim with this now, we're going to treat it again and see what happens um make more decisions look at that i'm not even sure if i want to treat that again there's a couple of bits in there like that they just stand alone that's just going to treat up really nice see from the side a couple of slices of that stuff so what i'm going to do is a carving Teardrop section here, split level. I'm not going to waste it, and there'll be some nice colour on the back. <laughs> There's our piece. Check that out. See the camera properly. Yeah, good. That was that one. It's gonna treat up a treat. I'm gonna do carving on that one again. Another slice from that as well. Another slice of that stuff. pattern nice couple of stones in there it's like a little love heart there we got that piece off the top as well it's a bit scooped from the face of a curved wheel not a flat like clearly <laughs> I'm not sure how the back's going to come up, but we'll get another treat. And that's going to be the face we're after anyway. Mm, we'll see. I'm going to stay in there somewhere. Clean spot. Maybe one over here. But yeah, so we'll get this into another treat. 
Let's see how we go. Yeah, there we go. Couple of slices apart. No, there we go. So we've got that green. And this one's gonna have a bit of the green. And it translates to purple on the other side because it went down into purple bar. And there's more of that. There's more. That's the bottom bit. Second to bottom. Yeah, can't wait to see this piece. <laughs> that colour there. That colour there translates all the way across there as that bar should. It's going to be a full face of that multicolour. Gorgeous. And then that for the back. <laughs> anyway, I'll get on with this. Mm. Alright, over at the saw, I've marked out a whole bunch of clean 
clean parts of the stones where it's going to be thick enough to actually cut a stone but also clean enough from uh, they've got colour in them but no yeah, imperfections at least as I can um, I'll start trimming some of the excess off because it would be such a shame to waste some of that colour be good for little inlays or something but that's very thin down there so we've got to anyway lots of decisions made here Let's see what we can do with that there's a nice colour in there somewhere stone Yeah. So we'll start getting through these. Now I'm staying like this. It's only a really nice clean spot there under more scrutiny. Let's see if we can zoom in. You have these little holes which won't polish. And then there's some scattered over the surface as well. So probably can't see all of them. Some of them are just micro. Here and there, there's a few over here you can't really quite see in the camera. But yeah, we'll see what we can get out of these after. But the main cleaner stone's gonna be there. So anyway, again we're slicing these apart. So just a quick recap. Here's what we've uh, turned in the rod. we be going on duck sticks and cut. That was all the well treated, can see what it's gonna do. And then we sliced out the cracks around the cracks and the floors and got the best of the color out. So that's all in here. Here was the stuff I left out from that pile. So I had to separate its breaks down a bit just to manage it. Um, and these were the questionable sort of pieces that were either mm, didn't quite treat too well the first time or they've also got a few other issues like all these splits that run into it um, I'm going to be slicing it but the, once I slice it that way and get that face out of it we need to make sure that there's definitely going to be something worth cutting Otherwise, we should be turning these probably into specimens and keeping them large um, just so they stay intact. So these are a few harder pieces to work with. This piece will just be trimmed up. Let's see straight through there. Maybe turn into a teardrop sort of shape. Um, but it's like the edge of a rock. So I'm not sure what the back's going to be like or how much of that past there is there. But we'll turn it into a stone anyway. These will be the cheaper and the spectrum pieces. Um, let's see what we can get. That's a nice bit of colour there. Bar sort of runs through there. We'll see if we can't chase and get a face of that. Might be a decent stone. Where is it? There. But again, there's white spots in amongst it. Uh, it's not going to treat. There's crystally bits amongst it. Makes for interesting stones, so we'll cut it. But they're not going to turn out as nice as some of these ones. That's all. But they'll still be stones. So we get on and do some of these. Here's another one. It's got some really nice colour in it. It didn't treat a bit more than it did. It's kind of a nice face there. But this one won't be going on the saw straight away. I'm going to face this whole face here and see what, yeah, how much it's broken up. See what we can get out of it anyway. Um, a couple of these pieces were going to be really nice, but I couldn't see much, so we're just going to trim them up a bit more, and then they'll be getting turned into stones. Let's do that. Didn't treat. 
It's a really nice colour in there. But some of it did, so there might be a mix through these pieces. So anyway, we're going to get on, slice these bits up. Oops. Slice all these bits up. Well, all them, most of it. And over in here is all the off cuts bucket. It's just not either much chop or just this. Parts that had the cracks in that that I was cutting around, that I was mentioning of that stuff. And here's the stuff that's probably better off just as specimen material. Some nice looking pieces with a bit of cut. But, yeah, there's no actual stones in there. See what can come of it, but there's all this dark material here goes right in. There's a globule here, globule there. And it's sort of broken up a bit throughout there, so trying to figure out where the main yeah, anything is to find a face that's clean, worth cutting. So yeah, anyway. Much chop. So they'll either be specimen pieces. So that one's got a big, huge rock going through it. And another one there, stuck to the bottom of this, which is curved with the color on top, which is dimpled. So there'll be no bar in there by the time I face that, it'll be all gone through the colour and you'll have that nothing potch in the middle with a stone under. So these are more specimen pieces, I think. Same as this bit, just wouldn't treat. It's not going to come up in the stones. The colour won't translate. You'd barely know it was made for So yeah, some of this stuff, nothing. Big chunks of stones, concrete in amongst matrix. Anyway. Play around with these pieces last. We've got too many cracks in that running through it though. There's just nothing left of it. But yeah, under the saw. We'll start on this stuff. Uh, we're getting some of these stones. They have a nice colour on the outset. The colour is not clean, hence it's the light patches that have no colour that are uh, actually treating. And there's much of it. Majority of half of that, majority of that is not open. So I'm sort of going to leave that as another specimen. I'm just going to go over it with the grinder and the grinding wheel, see what can come of it. No more hopes, and you can't cut stones from it. Alright, mm, so here's our new slices. I'm going to take these. And uh, put them in the sugar. These bits are going to go straight under the wheel and just clean up a bit, see what's actually in them, uh, and what we can use out of it. So, we'll put these into the sugar. Not sure what some of it's going to do. a bit nicer than others but we'll get all this in there and see when it comes out of the acid okay here's the results out of that last test treat stone just to be had in there a bit of black spot there might get something out of this side and the other side there Some of this, it's not really done what I'd hoped, but we had to do it anyway to see what it would do. And then some of it's done exceptional. Here we 
Okay. You're just not going to get to play with this kind of material every day, so you can say what you want about Opal Matrix. We're not trying to imitate Black Opal, but damn, this looks fine. Opal Matrix. I, I don't care it's not Black Opal. I wouldn't be playing with it if it was, so, you know, you just don't get it in this abundance either. Wow. <laughs> Eat your heart out. And people can actually afford this stuff, that's the best part. And if it's aesthetically pleasing, and it's real opal, it's a matrix, but it's real opal. It's not like it's lab made or some fake stuff. Uh, most emeralds are treated. Um, I've got topaz. Uh, it gets its blue by being irradiated. So, yeah. I don't, I don't see what treating it has to do with it. We're not claiming it's naturally out the ground like this. Where's another slice of it? It is what it is, but it's affordable too. So, and another slice of it. <laughs> You're just not going to get this if the uh, Lightning Ridge Field. And if you do, good luck to you. But we're not going to get to see it. So anyway, enjoy this. <laughs> What do they call it? Opal porn. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. Check that piece out. That's going to be a really mighty fine pendant piece. Come on, camera focus. There we go. That came up a bit better than I thought. somewhere oh I'm not sure I'm gonna orientate that one yet when I cut it that way so I'll have to get some ovals up that way so they can either be put in pendants or as you view it on a ring where would you have it yeah, it's very directional maybe even a pendant stone there we go a little flush that way the dangles I think it should be that way. I'll have to reorientate the stone. This one I wasn't sure what it was going to do, so before I kept slicing it up, I thought I'd check. The colour seems to be mainly over in this side. Mm. <laughs> and another slice. This is what we're going to work around. You see this? That's not. It's a hair. But through here, we do have a crack running through there. So there'll be stone over here, stones and over here. Before we put a blade through the middle of that, separate it. triangle piece there and maybe a couple or we have to sort that we'll be drawing all over these and getting ovals and doing a bit more slicing yet well, that's pretty that 
it's not. It's got a big chunk of there, but let's have a look at it. Oh, saving Grace side. Stunning. We catch. colors you want it. Almost script. <laughs> Let's see what we can get out of that piece. None of this will go to waste, except for the waste pieces. <laughs> None of this will go to waste as far as the uh, what's usable. Okay, so here we are, and we've got a bunch of stones to go through and have a look at. They're all finished up, and yeah, this is going to take a while, so I might just montage this together somehow as I um, edit this film, video, film. <laughs> um, I'm quite happy with some of these, these are really nice. I'll just pick them up just randomly. So, first up, we'll zoom in closer and hopefully show off these stones so I'm not sure if some of these may look familiar from which stones they came from originally and um, but there are a couple that go together as such from the same piece and this one has another piece that very similar sort of let's see if I can quickly find it material but yeah um, some of it's as you cut through the stone the pattern changes the uh, brightness everything like that so nonetheless there's a really nice unfortunately more directional it does have a sort of a nice flush up that way so be a nice pendant stone and I'm going to shut up and just yeah actually go through these and just show each one, it's going to take a while. So just come back quickly, some chit chat. So this material here, these are all, there's a few of this sort of look to them, and they're all from the same uh, pieces. Very similar matrix to each other, if not the same actual pieces. So some of this was on the top, but as it went through the bar, it just got less and less sort of thing, uh, as far as brightness goes. So some of these just, have a, a less of a brightness to them, but the colour's still there. Some of it turned out really nice, like this piece.